I decided to do a quick video on soldering here because I realized I really don't have one and I should. So first of all, this is my uh, solder station I use at my bench. You don't have to have a solder station, but it's real nice because you got the steel wool to clean. Uh, you have the pad you can wet down uh, also to clean the tip, make it look nice and shiny. Um, and that always helps when you're soldering to have a nice shin shiny tip. Sorry about the focus. So a couple of things I'm going to use here is um, solder and some braid also. I'm going to just show you a couple of uh, tricks on soldering. I'm also going to use a, a, a precision knife. Um, I don't really have a blown board to demonstrate, so I'm just going to we're going to make believe here that uh, that we have a, a blown trace. All right, so. The, this point and this point is what we're going to connect. I'm going to be using a larger tip on this one. It has kind of a flattened edge on it. It's nice uh, for for fine soldering. I use just kind of this this guy right here. It really has just kind of a tip, and uh, that would be more for you know surface mount applications like this. And this one I use uh, the larger one I use for for larger soldering. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So if I'm going to do a proper solder, what I'm going to do is actually take new solder and heat that up. You can see now it's nice and liquefied. And let's take the braid to it, run it across like this. And the larger contacts obviously need more braid for. And I did kind of pick a quite a large one. So now you see here you have an exposed pad with, uh, with no solder on it. And now when you put the new solder on it, it's you're going to have the pin, which is now clean, the pad, and then the solder is going to be um, uh, the same consistency, so you're not mixing solders. And what I'm doing now is just cleaning the tip. All right, so you can use some isopropyl on there and clean it with just a little brush like this. And get all that any sort of grime off of there. That's going to help your solder point. With this other contact, I'm going to just take my uh, hot code desoldering tool just to demonstrate how easy it is. Just melt the solder and it sucks it right up. So that makes it very easy as well. Let's say if I wanted to join these two, then what I could do instead of, because it's too far, the solder is not going to make that bridge easily. Um, and so what you can do is you can take some, some wire and strip it a bit. I'm going to make sure that the diameter is uh, 31.62 millimeters, 31.46. So this is the same diameter as the pin right here, so we're good. You can be higher than the diameter, diameter of the pins, but you can't be lower. That's the key. I'm going to make sure that that gets nice and hot, that the solder joins both. The um, pin and the wire, and so and you want to let it rest a bit because it's going to harden before you release the wire. If you re release the wire too early, it's just going to come apart. So we're going to heat the pin, heat the wire, get some solder in there. You can also just blow on it to cool it, and then put the wire. There you go, you got a connection. Um, another thing I was going to show you is using the precision knife. So let's say if you had this this guy right here and this section here, this pin was, was blown, you're going to replace, let's say, a relay. And it blew so much that this part got uh, singed and you can't use that part of the braid, or sorry, that part of the trace anymore. And so what I would do in a case like that is take my X-Acto knife
and expose the trace underneath. And you gotta do it for a bit. You know, it is kind of a pain. You can also go kind of sideways like this. But enough to where none of the green is showing anymore. You can see that's good. Take my isopropyl. Clean it up, make it shiny. There we go. So now all we do is once you got new, your new um, uh, really we said it was gonna be a relay. Once you got your new relay in, then turn it this way. Then we take the heat it up, solder flying. You can see you can make a nice nice little bridge. You can go as far as you want and basically you know make the uh, make the solder kind of on top of that trace and now your solder is going to be the new connection uh, the new uh, conductor instead of that burnt trace so there's some tips um, any questions put them in the comments below and see you next time